it seems to be a common opinion that coin dealers get preferential treatment at the grading companies like PCGS and NGC and Annex. So in other words, I'm a dealer. I have maybe I'm a coin, maybe I'm a PCGS dealer and I submit coins to PCGS. They put my coins to the side and they're like, this is, this is Daniel, man. This is, you know, coin help you. This is Porsche coin of currency. Hold on. We make sure they give them the grade or at least one grade in this, this lot here. Let's, let's favor this guy because he's a coin dealer. I can only tell you my experiences, which are greater than most people making this comment. But I do have some information in regards to how dealers are treated at the coin grading companies, uh, their submissions, actually. And it's not that it's never happened. You're never going to tell me there's not been a buddy that's gotten a better grade or, or a dealer that's gotten a better grade just because of who he was. I'm not saying that has never, ever happened at a coin show you know, basically where they were grading at the shows, that kind of thing. It's it's always possible. You hear stories. You hear some pretty reliable eyewitness accounts of, here and there at times. But I'll just do this. I'm going to tell you an experience. I worked for a coin dealer for a few months that in California. I did a remote thing, and then I flew out there for a week. And this was back in 2016. Now, this coin dealer had a problem and he was a pretty big time coin dealer. Now he was on the board of PCGS. Okay. His last name's for two. I'm not going to get into anything else, but David Hall literally calls him a mentor. Dave Hall was one of the founders of PCGS. Now this is the problem that he had. He had cabinets and I'm talking those, you know, two door tall, six foot tall locking cabinets all along the wall in his entire coin shop, and especially the front area, filled with PCGS boxes of coins that were 69, 68 proofs, and they were all common stuff that he cut out of sets and cut out of like proof sets and mint sets or bought and rolls or whatever, and he submitted them and sent coins two and three times a week to PCGS. 30 minutes from PCGS and had an employee drive those coins there. I mean, it was, uh, uh, it's constant and always talking about it and always do, just to get that grade and continually resubmitted and resubmitted until he got the 70 he needed or whatever it was that uh, he was trying to get for that money. Okay. To, to get that money grade. But his problem was, is he couldn't sell all the 69s and 68s and, and below that, money grade that he needed. And I'm talking cabinets full. I saw him with my own eyes, so I know this is true. This is a firsthand eyewitness account from me. And I can guarantee you I saw what I saw, and it was unbelievable. He was selling on eBay, trying to move stuff. And that was one of the reasons why he wanted to get his website going, because he was trying to unload this stuff, trying to sell this stuff, and I had to pay all those fees. And, you know, he made money doing it. He would get that good grade on that coin, and sell it for 10000 or 17000 You know, it happened because of the math. But one of the things you need to think about, he was on the board of PCGS and didn't get preferential treatment. He was also was one of the founders, called him a mentor. He didn't get preferential treatment because of that. He didn't get preferential treatment because he was in California or because of a name or anything else for that matter. As a matter of fact, Peace just would make more money by not giving him the grade because he's going to keep resubmitting. So it doesn't make sense to give him preferential treatment. It makes more sense not to give him the grade. So he keeps submitting and keeps submitting and keeps spending money, keep taking coins over there. So, no, I don't agree that coin dealers just get special treatment and get that special grade. Because the thing is, coin dealers that submit a lot, and I'm talking spend thousands a month at PCGS, are always going to submit coins to PCGS, so they don't need to give them a special grades. But the math alone, the I mean, seriously, the math alone is going to uh, put the ball in their favor. I mean, it's going to, uh, you think about if I go over to the Super Quick and buy one lottery ticket a year, you know, and you buy one every day, the odds that you're going to eventually hit something, a winner, some type of small winner, are greater than mine. That's just math. So it's it's not really about who submits it or if you're a coin dealer or not or who you know. It's how much you're sending, you know, and 
Not on, on top of that, coin dealers are typically that do that are better at grading than you are. So they're also got a, that even ups the ante on them, the odds as far as getting that grade. They also buy more coins than you. So they handle more coins and they have more of a chance of something coming in the door that's gradable. That's three things that gives coin dealers greater odds in, in finding that money coin and submitting it and, and getting that coin that's worth the, the bucks in that certain grade. You know, the condition grade, what we call. And there's something else. Go to a coin show and ask each dealer if they think certain dealers get preferential treatment at the grading companies. You're going to have some that say they do, but which ones in the room are getting that preferential treatment? Let's say you go to Fun Show, Lone Beach Show. Which wh What dealers are getting that treatment, though? I mean, is if you talk to every one of them, can you find out? See, that's the thing. You're going to hear more dealers complain about how the grading companies are not grading consistently enough for them or that they didn't get the grade. Then you are going to have someone say, yeah, boy, I got that grade, boy, I got, you know, you're going to have some of them be able to say that, but are they going to be able to say it because they were buddies with somebody at PCGS or because they're a PCGS coin dealer? No, I don't think so. I don't think you're ever going to be able to go to a coin show and narrow down that dealer that's getting all those special preferential treatments. And you're going to see hundreds of dealers at some of these shows. Um, you can go to the Sharonville show and ask all of them there. Try it out yourself. Just see what you hear. See what see what coin dealers say. Because all coin dealers can't be getting preferential treatment if a bunch of them or all of them at the show say that it happens, but they don't get it. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. It smacks reason in the face. So no, I don't really agree that at all that coin dealers get special treatment, no matter if they're coin, PCS coin dealers or NGC coin dealers. I've just, I've seen too much. I've experienced a few things. And like I said, man, firsthand experience, I saw those cabinets. It was unbelievable. I mean, cool. I mean, just PCGS boxes after PCGS boxes from years of submitting like that. It, it was, um, it was actually a sight to see. Every time you opened up one of those cabinets, it was just, yeah. So anyways, tell me what you think in the comments. I know some of you will disagree with me. That's fine. Go ahead. Don't get disrespectful though. That's all. But anyways, thanks for watching my latest video. Please share it. Please subscribe to my channel and have a great day.